her, I ain't feeling nice. Got another one, where will we go tonight? What's poppin'? It's your boy Joey back again with another video. Now, this story takes place back in April of this year. Uh, what, ha what happened was, it's my older brother Zach's 22nd birthday. And what he wants to do is, he wants to go to a hotel with me, him, and some of his boys. So we decided to rent a hotel room, and we're getting ourselves ready for the night. We're grabbing snacks, beer, dope, weed, all kinds of stuff. We're grabbing our everything we can. So we get to the hotel, we sign in, we go up to the room, and we spread everything out, put the alcohol there, weed there, snacks there. And so we're getting ourselves organized for the night, picking out where everyone's going to sleep. And later on, it starts to get closer to dinner time, and we're like, hey, why don't we go down to the hotel restaurant and grab some food? So we go down there, we eat our food, we're just hanging out, chopping it up there, having a good time. After we're done eating, we go back up to our room. Eventually, one of Zach's friends goes, hey, isn't there an arcade here? Like, we should go down and play some games, play some arcade games. We're like, cool, that sounds like a great idea. So, as we're going downstairs, we go out into the hall, and in the room across from ours is a room with four girls in it. They open their door, peek their heads out, and go, you guys look kind of cute. And we're like, all right, damn, you girls look kind of cute too. So we go on downstairs to the arcade. We're just chilling out there, playing some games. After a while, the arcade closes and we go back up to our room. After some time passes, we hear a knock on the door and a note slips under the door. On the note was the names of the four girls and their Snapchats. So we're like, okay, so what do we do? Do we invite them over? Do we just have them stay in their room? Like, what's the plan? Because we're all looking at Zach right now and we're like, it's your birthday, man. It's up to you if you want to invite them over. If you don't, it's all good. He's like, you know what? Sure, invite them over. So they come over and we're hanging out with the girls for a bit. We're having a good time with them. And out of nowhere, one of Zach's friends goes, all right, elephant in the room. Who would want to be with who right now? I'm like, wow, you're just going to toss that right out in the open. Okay, then. And so we all just start ranking each other out of top three. Like all the guys are like, all right, uh, go with her, her and her. Girls are like, all right, him, him and him. I'm like, wow, okay, you guys are just going straight out for it. All right, then. But what kind of sucked for me was that I was not on any of the girls' lists. I mean, granted, there was like maybe 10 or 12 of the guys there. So like, and there's only out of top three. So it's not like there was a big choice there i guess um i don't know but as the night goes on i eventually started to drink too much and smoke too much so i go to the room and i go to the bedroom and i'm like oh god i feel like crap i think i might throw up zach comes in and checks on me he goes you're good man i'm like can you get me like a bag or a bucket or something in case i puke he goes no man you're gonna be fine i'm like Dude, just give me something, just in case. Like, no, man, you're going to be fine. I'm like, dude, give me a fucking bag or bucket right now, or I'm going to kick you in the nuts. He's like, all right, fine, chill out. So he gives me a bucket or a, there. He gives me a bucket. And so I'm just laying in the bed like, oh, God. Uh. And so what goes on with the rest of the guys is that they bought a ping pong, like a beer pong set. And so what they decided to do was take the ping pong balls and start hucking them at each other. That's all they were doing. And so one of the girls and one of Zach's friends comes into the bedroom that I'm in and they just start throwing the ping pong balls at each other. And after a while they stop and for like a good 30 seconds, they're just staring at each other. I'm like, uh, guys, I'm still here by the way. So if you guys are going to do something, go that way. Cause I don't want to be around for that um so after a while they leave and i'm like all right they're probably either doing the deed or they're just chilling hanging out i don't really care after a while i start to calm down and i go back out and hang out with the rest of the guys and i'm just chilling with them having a good time now we reach the moment of the night where zach falls to the floor because he drinks a lot so it takes me 
and two of his friends to carry his lifeless body and toss him in bed. But he is so stubborn that he keeps getting up and falling over. So I'm like, ah, crap, here we go again. So we got to pick him up again, put him in bed. He gets up a third time. He stands up, falls over again. I'm like, you know what? You're staying there for the night. You're good. So we just leave him there and we continue on with our night and just chill out for a bit. But earlier on, actually, we got a noise complaint and we felt like it was kind of the girl's fault because before they came over, we were kind of quiet. Like we weren't too loud, but we weren't extremely quiet. Like we were making some noise, but it was good enough. Like, but when the girls came over, it got really louder. And so one, someone came by and knocked on the door. We weren't really too sure if it was an employee or someone else that was staying at the hotel. So like when they came up to the door, one of Zach's friends answered and he's like trying to block the guy's view so he like doesn't see what's going on inside because if he came in and saw a bunch of alcohol bottles and a bunch of weed spread out, we were probably going to get in trouble. So eventually the guy leaves and we try to quiet down after a bit and eventually we send the girls back to their room. We're like, all right, it's this guy's birthday. We're just going to have like a boys night. You guys go back to your rooms. If we want to hang out with you later, that's cool. They're like, all right, sounds good. So they go back to their rooms. We're chilling in our room. Zach's passed out on the floor as always. And we eventually just fall asleep. So all of us are just going to sleep. We wake up the next morning and we don't really remember what happened. Most of the guys don't remember what happened there. I wake up, go out into the main room. I see one of Zach's friends asleep in the closet. He has his pillow set up against the wall and he has his legs basically lifted upwards. I'm like, what the hell? One of Zach's buddies comes by, kicks him. He's like, hey dude, get up. He's like, what the hell, what's going on? It's like, we're cleaning everything up. We're getting ready to go. He, he looks at him again, he's like, wait, did you just sleep in the closet? He goes, yeah, best sleep I've ever had in years. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. So he stands up and arcade tokens fall out of his pocket. He goes, were we at an arcade last night? He goes, Zach, one of Zach's friends goes, yeah, like we were at an arcade downstairs. He was like, I don't remember anything. He goes, do you remember when the girls came by? He goes, there were girls here. We're like, yeah, there were some girls here. We were partying with them, having a good time. He was like, what the heck happened last night? So as we're cleaning up, we're just reminiscing about the night. We're just like, oh, that was fun. That was cool. Oh, maybe we'll just see, see the girls later on or something like that. Later on, we realized that half the guys are kind of MIA right now. Either some of them went home because some of them weren't really drinking with us. They just wanted to chill out. So they probably went home or some of them were hanging with the girls because later that night we looked out the window and we see one of Zach's friends with one of the girls there and we're like, okay, so something must have happened there. But yeah, that basically does it for this story. Like we were just partying at the hotel. We were having a good time. Anyway, that does it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends and family. And I'll see you guys real soon. Deuce. Feeling right, feeling nice. Got another one, where will we go tonight? Uh, trying to meet the sky every single night.